What's the biggest misunderstanding people have about drag? I can't say it enough when I'm in the clubs. I'm not Beyonce. I just get it all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's hard. Me too, actually. Uh, wait. I thought... Is drag a sexual thing? It's interesting because that's the conversation that's on the table right now. It's like, can I curse? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I love it! Hello, welcome to The Portrait Project. Today we're here with the Olivia Lux. Oh my goodness. Olivia was a contestant on RuPaul season 13 and is an absolute icon. How do you like to be introduced? Icon, yes. So what does it feel like to be in drag? Mm. For me, it's the fantasy. Mm. Okay, I want to paint the fantasy. I want to give the children something to gawk at. And for me to feel my ultimate supreme self i feel like the last pokemon evolution of myself when i'm in drags uh what do you mean by fantasy no, don't worry about my fantasy okay. baby sorry because <laughs> when i'm in drags it's about everybody else's fantasy okay? okay and maybe i'm i'm that i am the fantasy you know and it's all in the skill it's all in the illusion that's what it's all about it's about you know what you want to give mm. and give it to the max mm -hmm. and baby i know what i give Mm. And I, I I break it off the scale sometimes. Ow! It's mm. the ultimate form, I think, of artistic expression. I mean, you got the number that you're going to perform. Mm. You got how you're going to look. Are you flipping? Are you playing piano? Which I often do at my shows. Things like that. You're it's, like a triple or quadruple threat. I said I was an icon. <laughs> yeah. Have you did always... You, did you not believe me? I apologize. That's I apologize. okay. That's okay. We we're we're getting icon. to know each other. Exactly. You know, it's trust. Mm -hmm. So, how does drag impact your confidence? Drag has definitely helped me build my confidence, but I think has, it started from the inside and not just the wigs and the heels and things. Maybe in the beginning, I thought it was gonna grant me that superpower. I can only speak for myself, but before drags and stuff, and even during Drag Race, you were like, "This is so." much where where do i fit in and then you start to find your piece of of land within it all and you start to cultivate it and grow mm. and build your own and child flowers are blooming outside on the front porch you know what i mean it gives that energy like even out of drags and rue says it sometimes you should know that as a drag queen and drag artist that you have the same power accessible to you when you're in drag as when you're out of drags. Mm. So when I'm out in everyday life, not looking, you know, as fabulous as I, you know, present when I'm in drag. You're not in your final form. When I'm not in my final form, it low key gives that final form is like still in there, mm. illuminating on the inside. And even though you might not see it, it's still there. And that's important. What's the biggest misunderstanding people have about drag? Oh, for one thing, I. I can't say it enough when I'm in the clubs. I'm not Beyonce. I just get it all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's hard. Me too, actually. Oh my good. Uh, yes. Uh, wait. <laughs> I thought you were Miss Miss Knowles Carter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's my bad. I'm leaving. Yeah. Um. She can't draw like me. <laughs> the biggest misconception about drag is that um, it's easy to do drag. I do like to say I feel like every drag queen starts out by looking at another drag artist and saying, I love that. I think I could do that better. I don't like her makeup. It doesn't really look like this or the outfit. I would have done this or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you know how hard it was for that person to put that together? Mm. Slash what they're currently putting themselves through in their body and constricted and pulley. Do you know how many pulleys and strings there are? I really don't actually. Oh my goodness. So I feel like that's the misconception. It's like, you're just, you know, being fabulous. You put on some lip gloss and a wig. It takes hours and hours of preparation. And then like thousands of hours of, 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 of learning and craft, craftspersonship. Craftsperson. Crafts diva ship. Crafts diva ship. Excuse From me. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Is drag a sexual thing? Drag is as sexual as making a sandwich. You could make the sandwich and be like, you could do that if you wanted to do it, or you could just make the sandwich. Yeah. So it's it, it's interesting because that's the conversation that's on the table right now. It's like me being 
this fabulous version of me walking out there on earth um, doesn't make that innately sexual. Um, that actually sexualizes the individual, mm. essentially. Um, so that's there's where that's at. But I think if they actually learned and got to know people and the artistry of drag, they would see that it's so much more than um, any sort of sexualized activity. Has becoming a professional drag queen changed how you view gender? Becoming a professional drag queen has definitely allowed me to explore my own gender more. I just got a better understanding of like, okay, so when I'm at the bar, how do I feel the most comfortable? It's interesting how I interact with people when I'm Olivia versus Freddie, which is my outer drag persona. And I think of it, for me, as an extension of who I am. Yeah. I don't really mind. When, when the menses come up to me in the club or whatever, the only question that I'm asking him is, do you want the wig on or off? That's yeah. all the things we need to discuss. It's the only question. I mean... Can you tell me about your weight loss journey? My weight. Now, I know typically they say you should never ask a lady her weight. Um, but good for you, because I ain't a lady. <laughs> I, I, my weight has been here, there, and everywhere. When I was younger, I like to call it former big kid. Mm. Um, because, <laughs> because sometimes I have former big kid tendencies. Um, you know, going for that second, third plate when I'm already, you know, full type of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, a dessert every day. I mean, day. you have to have a dessert after you dinner. You gotta have a special treat. I mean. Before dinner even. I mean, okay. Maybe because, dinner's dessert. Honestly, no, for real. You don't understand. But, um, I am deep diving into, you know, my thoughts on my body and drag when you think about it, it's illusion, right? And a lot of times in drag, you corset or pad, mm -hmm. which is deducting and adding in certain places of your body. So it even adds on more to body dysmorphia if you already got it, which I do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is okay and cool, but I've grown to love and accept who I am and my body. And I think Olivia has really helped in that journey for me. Yeah, I guess it's interesting, like, even the concept of being really into makeup, there is a level of, like, changing your appearance. But it's like, oh, you're changing yourself, right? And it's it's good as a form of self-expression, but it unless it's based on this idea that you need to be changed because you're not good enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, I totally, yeah. I, I totally get you. Uh, there is a level of, like, altering oneself to present and drag and, and all of that. But then you also think about it and you're like, I kind of do that in my everyday. Like, we when we go out at night to the club, mm -hmm. we're like, okay, let's change our work outfit mm -hmm. to the club outfit. That's a form of expressing yourself um, and modifying it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, honestly, live your fantasy, live your own, own life, do your own shit, honestly. Can I curse? Yeah. Do your own shit, bitch. Do you. Express how you want to express because that that's ultimately going to help you out in the long run to be your full, authentic, true self. And we all want that. And um, everyone deserves that. Yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh! I love it! This is so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I look fabulous, period. Mm -hmm. This is so cute. Right? You are so adorable. I love it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.